Hi. Electronically commutated motors, ECMs, have really become very prominent in HVACR. On the refrigeration side, there are a lot of advantages that we may not even think about when we talk about ECMs. Now this little fan, this is a 12 inch fan assembly, and this particular fan is used in some of the low profile unit cooler applications. So we can see this in both freezer and refrigeration applications. This is an EBM 0210 specifically. Now one of the nice features about this motor is that it does have an ECM on the fan assembly, but you can use this to replace shaded pole or PSC fan assemblies. So because it is an assembly, you don't have to take the motor off, take the fan blade off of that motor, and then reassemble the replacement motor to the mounting frame and attach the fan back onto the shaft of the motor once that motor is reassembled on that assembly and make sure then that that fan assembly, the fan blade itself, is in the right orientation on that assembly because it's already done for you. So it makes a lot easier, it's a lot, uh, time, a lot of time savings in being able to replace an assembly that has a shaded pole or a PSC motor on it with a complete assembly having the ECM. Now when we look at this particular assembly, it's not just an ECM. Now this particular ECM, it's rated 1 15th horsepower. So when you're using this, you can replace anything from a 15th horsepower or smaller using this one assembly. Now that's something you can't do with a shaded pole or a PSC. With a shaded pole or PSC, you have to make sure that you're matching that horsepower but not as essential with the ECM. What I want to make certain of is that I have the correct speed. Now, why is it so important that I have the correct speed? The speed is going to give me the amount of air that I need over that evaporator coil. Now, typically, this one's going to be used with evaporator coils that have about six fins per inch. Generally, they're going to be about four and a half inches deep and have four tubes on them and have a height of about 12 and a half inches. That's what you can expect that these are going to be going into. If you see something much different than that, then you might want to examine that application a little bit further and this may not be the right unit. So now when we look at this particular unit, what makes this so special, and you can see it on the back of this, there are 10 different speed settings on this particular motor. Certainly can't get that out of a shaded pool or PSC. So on this particular unit, we see speeds from 900 RPM all the way up to 1650 RPM. Well, why does it have those different speeds on there? Because different applications for evaporation to perform properly in those systems, it may require a different amount of air going over that coil. And so with this particular unit, it gives me just the right amount of air that that coil requires for good performance in the system. So when we look at this, we look at the back on this particular unit, 
There's a little plug. If I remove this plug, I'll see that there is a little red arrow that allows me to rotate to the different speed settings. Now when this comes out of the box, it's set on number seven. But you can adjust that to any of those 10 different speed settings that will give me a variety of speeds from 900 RPM up to 1650 RPM. Now when we look at those speeds, well, what do the different units require? We look at this chart, we can see different manufacturers of these coils, of this equipment, and we can see the variety of different speeds that they require in their particular evaporator coil. So, by looking at my tables, by looking at my cross-references, or by looking at the information on the equipment, I can see what the RPM is. And I can set this particular motor to the RPM that's required in that particular application. Now, that's one aspect of this. Another aspect, in, in addition to the speed controllability of this, is the efficiency of this particular unit. So why would you even replace a shaded pole with a PSC? First of all, I can carry one of these units around and take care of a lot of different applications requiring different performance characteristics. But this particular motor, when it's operating, when it's operating on any of those speeds, this motor is a lot more efficient than I would see with a shaded pole or with a PSC. A PSC is about twice as efficient as a shaded pole, but this particular motor, I'm going to get about a 30% increase in efficiency using this versus a PSC. So, that sounds like energy savings when we talk about efficiency. But there's another gain when we talk about efficiency of the motor. So, when I have two motors that are doing the same job, and one motor is more efficient than the other motor, the motor that is more efficient doesn't get as hot as the less efficient motor. So now, when I put this into my evaporator unit, into that unit uh, coil, this motor is not going to get as hot. So typically, these are going to be within the environment that I'm cooling. And if I put a motor in that environment that gets hotter while it's operating than one that doesn't get as hot, my system has to overcome that heat. So if I'm not putting as much heat inside of my unit, my unit spends more time transferring heat out of the products in that unit rather than taking the heat that I'm adding by my motor out of the unit. So that's a big gain. Now when we look at this particular unit, again this is this is a simple replacement then. I can use this for a lot of different fan assemblies. Not only does it give me the different speeds, but I have different mounting configurations on this unit. That gives me the opportunity to fit this into a variety of applications that may have different mounting holes in the system. So when we look at this, these bolts will 
be removable. You can take that out and put the bolt into a hole that might give you a different size, allowing that to be very flexible. Now, when installing this, please keep in mind, you can see the plug on this. Install this so that plug is in the down position, in the six o'clock position, so that if I get condensation, the condensation is not going to have an opportunity to run into the motor, but rather we can keep the condensation or someone's washing down the unit keep that moisture from going up into the motor. This has a plug. This particular motor can operate anywhere from 100 volts to 240 volts. And I don't have to make any connection change for that. This motor will sense those different voltages and operate at the correct speed within the acceptable voltage range. If the application does not accept the molded plug, cut it off and just connect it through the two wires coming through the cable. Now make sure that those wires are connected properly to prevent moisture from getting into that. And that should be con conducted by an experienced electrician to do that. So the EBM 0210 replaces a lot of the different shaded pole and PSC motors, gives me efficiency gains, which will save on my energy consumption, but also make my unit more productive in that I'm not adding as much heat into the unit. Thanks for joining us today.